Good afternoon. This is Miguel Saavedra, um, and this is my week 13, post 3 for business ethics. Uh, so the questions involves Noam Chomsky and um, capitalism. And our question posed to us are what are some alternatives to capitalism that are mentioned in the video, as well as my opinions on uh, capitalism. So alternatives to capitalism that are mentioned in the video are people who work for a profession or organization should run it. Um, and I can see myself agreeing with that. Uh, I think it adds a needed um, benefit of those who own something and are responsible for how well it does take pride in that um, business or uh, object like a, like a car, right? Uh, if, if we own it and we're responsible for it, we're, we tend to take better care of it. And I think the, the same rules can apply to business. Um, Chomsky also states that uh, <clears throat> the reason we don't do this is because people are selfish and they don't really want to share the profits with their workers. And that's true. We can see that. Um, just look at the uh, Industrial Revolution. Like mass amounts of uh, steel were being uh, created in Ohio and the uh, the steel giants there like they were they're making lots of money but if you look at the the living situations of their workers or the even the the work situations what they had to deal with um, in any given workday you can kind of see the the scales tip there between what the owners of the business are doing with the profits and then how much of the profit that they're actually sharing with the people that work with them. Um, Chomsky also states that wage labor um, is the same as slavery but on a temporary basis. Um, I think that's somewhat true. I think that uh, the fact of someone working for minimum wage and they're working 16 hours a day for six days a week like that's not excusable but also i believe that working within an industry no matter what industry that is it's an agreement between the worker and the employer to um, complete an established amount of work in a given time period um, so i think that the word slavery is a little bit of a a, a broad term to use there because uh, slavery would imply that they did this unwill or that they did it unwillingly and they were getting little uh, compensation for it but I think anyone who interviews for a job is more likely to um, agree that they made an agreement with their new employer uh, Chomsky also states that we need to stop outsourcing and start making things in-house. I think that's true, but also the reason we're outsourcing is so we can save money because wage labor is so high here. Um, and the reason we don't stop outsourcing is because it could be seen as anarchist, according to Chomsky. I'm not too sure about that. Um, I think a few businesses here and there probably would fail in the very beginning, but this would create a much more <clears throat> a much more stable like country and I also think that along with stability we can uh, embed a little bit more uh, resourcefulness um, anyway uh, my opinions I agree with capitalism to a certain extent but um, I think that if I work hard to get paid a certain amount of money, um, then my pay and my position in the company should reflect the work that I've put in. Um, I would not agree with someone working half as hard as I do receiving the same pay and position. Um, we see that all the time in business, whether they're your coworkers that are colleagues in the same um, level as you, um, getting the same pay as you, but some may be working half as hard. Um, some see it as smart working, but others see it as laziness and it shouldn't uh, stand. The area where I tend to disagree with capitalism is when the rich are profiting from 
uh, the work of their employees um, at an exponential level more than their employees. And um, I think that outsourcing is kind of a necessary evil right now, but that we should begin to make everything in-house. This would benefit uh, the economy and the people of the United States, and it would also strengthen the resilience that we have by making the U.S. more self-sufficient and less dependent on other countries for the needs that we may or may not have.